So on the last ride out, we went sport range high or high range sport mode and grenaded the belt. So this is the uh, this is a follow up here. We got literally chunks. It obviously got a little wet. I'm guessing from the uh, 35 video where we were sending her through the pond pretty good. But the good news is the casing is still intact, so that's $250 Canadian saved. And uh, we're just down to belt, and belts are cheap because I buy the cheap belts and they grenade and they don't hurt anything, so it's a good day. So we're going to pull this old belt off, clean it up, clean off the sheaves, and uh, get the new one on. So we got the uh, old belt out now. Take a look. Tried to use a beer cap this time instead of a instead of a quarter or a loony. Um, it kind of works. It ripped through trying to separate the secondary there, so not a good solution. Did look like a little bit of water got into the casing. I'm assuming it's getting in through my snorkels because it's pretty sealed, but uh, we'll have to figure that one out in the future. Um, so time to put a new belt on. And, uh, sorry, got to clean up the sheaves first. Just got a little bit of sanding block, uh, a little bit of brake cleaner. We'll scuff them up, clean them up real nice. And uh, then we'll wash the belt, a little bit of soap and water, get any of the oil off of it. That might have got on it from shipping. And then we're good to go for the ride tonight. So, let's get to her. So, there's the, uh, the rest of the belt there. She delaminated pretty good. So that's a Gates carbon belt, and uh, needless to say, she didn't wipe out the casing, so that's good news. Trying not to uh, have to pull the clutches and everything. So I see a lot of people using the uh, Scotch Bright pads for cleaning their clutches, and uh, I always found that that wasn't really aggressive enough to clean off the belt properly. So nice fine sanding sponge. Makes a bit of a difference for speed. And you can see how quickly. See, comes off right away. And it gives you a little bit of grabbage there for the belt. So we're gonna finish cleaning off all the belt residue on here. Um, give her a wipe down with some brake cleaner and a microfiber. And then we're good to go with the new belt. All right, let's get to that. So I don't actually know if uh, washing the belt actually helps other than just getting a little bit of, if there's oil or dirt or anything on it, off. Um, see a lot of guys do it and yeah, I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you wash yours? Do you do any chemical treatment to it? Uh, comment below. If you do anything I'd like to hear back so far I've just been uh, washing a little bit of soapy water a little bit of Don just soap there scrub them up a little bit get any uh, shipping oils and stuff off of it and install so we're gonna get to that uh. so I can't find my can't find my air chuck, so we're gonna go a little redneck on this one and just kick it until the compressor builds pressure. And then we're gonna blow out the primary and the secondary clutch, a little bit of air. Make sure we get all the dust out of there, because uh, dust will slowly ruin your clutches, as you should know. Um, so, let's give her. So we got the uh, clutches all blown off now. We're gonna. Spray them up with a little bit of carb cleaner here. Or brake cleaner, sorry. Just get all the stuff off of them. Any sort of residue, etc. We'll wipe them down with a mini or microfiber. And we will be ready for the new belt. So we're gonna be putting on the uh, Gates G-Force Carbon 
It's a 49C4266. So this is the one that I had on before. She lasted about 600K. And, uh, well, needless to say, I abused her pretty good, so I'm surprised that she lasted that many Ks. So we're going to get this one uh, tossed on there, and we'll see how that goes. I think it's primary first. So, pop her on the primary, slide her over top of your uh, bolt spreader, or clutch spreader. I like to start at the top and work my way down. We kind of need to spin the secondary and get her like that. And that's it. Nice and easy. So we'll back the uh, clutch spreader out now. Give her a couple spins to have the secondary spread out. And uh, we'll flash to getting the case on. Good work. So, we've got a little bit of uh, dielectric grease here. It helps to just keep a little bit of water and stuff out of the casing in case that seal doesn't seat properly. Um, I like to use it just a little, little tiny bead around the perimeter. And it makes, I've found that it makes a difference. I used to use it on my Outlander around the airbox and never had it leak with that foam seal. If anyone has an Outlander, you know what I'm talking about. So, we're going to get this on, toss the casing back on. And fire her up. Whoop. So we got the uh, clutch casing and everything all back on. We're just going to take her for a little short cruise down the road here. And uh, make sure everything's good before we send her in the mud pit. So all back on, all greased up, ready to go. So I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, share, ride. Cheers, boys. So the extra got a little dirty. <laughs> Look at this. Can't even tell what color it is. Hey, Brian. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome. X3 life. Welcome to X3 life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where every drop. Yep. Nice.